This morning, the preparations began for demolition of a house owned by Southern District Police Commander Uri Berlev. The house is to be demolished to, due to safety issues tied to a softening of the land it was built on. Berlev was commander of police during the demolition of Jewish homes in Gaza. We spoke with Baruch Marzel, head of the Chazit Nationalist Party. Shalom. Shalom Baruch. So what brings uh, you to the community of Mishmar Ayalon this morning? Well, I came to see a miracle that didn't happen in the land from the time of Korach. Uh, a few months after the uh, evacuation uh, of Kush Katif, the house of the general in charge in the police on the evacuation of Kush Katif uh, started sinking into the land and he has in the day, today is the day that Gush Katif was destroyed three years ago. In this day, tractors are coming on his house and destroying his house because it became a danger to the, to the surrounding. You know, we have to know that's the same general that is a good general, a known general, a successful general, but is being thrown out for no reason out of the police. He's thrown out of the police, his house is sinking into the land, and this is, shows us that there, God is uh, the judge, and he judged this person to the destruction of his house and destruction of his career, like what happened to the people in Gush Katif. And as you mentioned, this is happening on a day which was set as a day of remembering Gush Katif. Yeah, it's happening at the day that the rabbis called to fast for the destruction of Gush Katif, and we're, we're all uh, fasting for the destruction of Gush Katif. And I came to see the miracle that if, if you don't uh, get irat shamayim, you don't fear from God after seeing what he did to Uri Barlev, and he dis destroyed him, and that's what happens to each one of the people that were in charge in Gush Katif, Arik Sharon, Eudumr today, is uh, the police decided to put him to trial, and Omri Sharon, and Tzipi Limini, all these people will pay for what they did, the crime they did in Gush Katif. Baruch, you know the phrase used by many activists since the expulsion is, uh, we won't forget, we won't forgive. Uh, but forgiveness is an important Jewish value. How about forgiveness? Well, uh, Rabbi Mordechai Eliyahu told me that the only way for them to get forgiveness is uh, first to go to each one of the people in Gush Katif and uh, to, to, to ask for forgiveness. Second, to pay the people for the damage they did, and I don't know if they can pay. And the third thing is to come out in public and say we made a mistake, we would never do it again, and, uh, and uh, to, to, to lead the people to stop from uh, throwing out Jews out of their homes in the land of Israel. Baruch Marzel, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. Barlev himself, who has an additional and large house, seemed not uh, particularly troubled. He approached our crew and recommended that we return tomorrow for better shots as the bulldozers and tractors won't arrive till then.